Hello, you are welcome to class. Today we are going to make an eight pieces skirt. So I have my fabric here, it's of three yards of fabric. So we are going to start first with the measurement. With the measurement required for a skirt are we have the waist measurement, we have the hip to waist measurement, we have the hip width measurement, we have the full skirt length. So for me, see which is a person that are going to make up this lovely ATVC skirt for. Uh, uh, measurements her waist is 32 inches. Hip, waist to hip, length is 8 inches. Hip width is 37. And the skirt length is 38 inches. So now. We have three yards of fabric here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this skirt. We are going to divide this skirt into two, the front and back measurement. The reason why we are dividing this is because there's going to be a zipper allowance at the back. So the back should be a bit wider than the front measurement. So I already folded this fabric into half, widthwise. So I'm going to measure one inches from this fold here just to separate the front from the back so the back will be wider than the front so i'm just going to cut this to do we're going to take this back bodies aside then we'll go first with the front bodies so since it's eight pieces that means the front bodies we have four pieces and the back bodies we have four pieces too so now i have my fabric here if i fold it into half like this which wise i'm going to have two pieces then i fold it again i have four pieces so this is the four pieces now, so I'm not going to fold it into half to have eight pieces so that we're going to just shape one side. So I'm going to have eight pieces. So, so we're going to shape one side. And this is the reason why we are cutting like this. So I'm placing it on the table. So I have this now. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to measure the length of the skirt, which I'm going to start from the top of this fabric here. I'm not going to start from this savage because we don't this savage will not show on our fabric. So I'm going to measure down up to 38 inches. But I'm going to add one inches to it to make it 39 inches. The reason why is uh because of the reason why I'm going to do this is uh for the hemi allowance. So I'm going to use 39 inches. So we cut out this part. I'm going to need. So I'm taking this aside too. Now, the first thing we are going to do here for a piece of skirt, we have this piece of skirt ready. So we have eight folds. It's on eight fold here. So all I'm going to do is to take our hip measurement. So our hip measurement, which is that seven inches divided by eight, uh, divided by eight, we are going to have a uh, two point three one two five. So that is uh, for hip. We divide hip by eight. We have something at, around that two point uh, three one two five. I'm sorry, divided by sixteen. It should be divided by sixteen because. Why we are going to divide it by 16 is because we have eight folds now because we are going to we are going to make this piece of skirt on one side. That is why you know every each time we are cutting the fabric, we cut it on fold. We don't cut it though it's or just four four folds. Um it's supposed to be eight folds, but because we are going to place each fold on 
on food, each food, each panel of food, you are going to have 16 at the end of the day. So when we divide that 7 by 16, we have something around 2.3125. So now, this is what we are going to use. But we're not going to use 2.3125 exactly like that. Let's ask, uh, let's approximate it to 2.4. We can't use it like that. The reason why is because we need joining allowance for both panels. Because when we are joining the panels, we are going to sew. And also when joining the side too. So that's why we are going to add some inches to it. So instead of choosing 2.3125, I'm going to use a 2.6. I'm going to use 2.675, which is this on my, uh, so I'm going to use something here. So we don't need much seam allowance. So this is, we are going to start, we are going to use the hip measurement, not the waist measurement first. So after that, I'm going to measure from the top to the knee from the waist to the knee for this particular person the waist to the knee of the person is 17 and a half so we are going to measure the 17 and a half here this is where we are going to stop so we have something like this so this is their equal so that is the second step then the next thing we are going to do is to go the in inside this hip here we are going to measure in 1.5 if you don't want it to be if you want it to be very very fitted at the knee but if you don't want it to be fitted at the knee you can reduce it but we're not going to start that now we just going to know this is our knee this is our knee and we are using our hip measurement from the top of the fabric here which is the waistline down to the knee then we just play house from the head of this fabric at the bottom at the hemline here we have something like this so now i'm going to go with my scissors here then i'm going to cut out make sure you cut from where you have the edge uh, the rough edge not on the folded part here So I'm just cutting. So we have this. So we have the four panels here this is the four these are the four panels four panels for the front bodies so we take them aside put them aside then we take the second fabric for the front and uh, for the back bodies so now so we have the back bodies now these are the this is the back body. This is the fabric for the back body. So, you remember we need uh, the center one. We have a, we require a seam allowance. The middle one, sorry, the center fold, center panel. So, I'm going to fold it into half like this. And I'm placing it on the table. Make sure you match your fabric. The one you've cut with it so that the pattern will be similar. You have to match it like this if they have to be similar. So we have the center, we have the panel, the four panels here.
So since it's four foot, we need two folds to be a little bit. Uh, these two folds we have uh, the same the zipper allowance. So use one inches. Then. So we are going to take the one inches back on the fold. So the panel, these two panels. So I'm going to cut out. So two panels will get not as wide as the other two panels. The reason why is uh, for the zipper allowance. So we have them separated. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it into half. Place it on the table, then I'll fold it again so that I'm going to have four folds. Place it on the table. So we have this. Then we we'll do the same for the two other panels here. Make sure they are they have the same. Uh, what do we call? It? We have the same pattern. They have the same pattern. So you have to be, you have to look at them very well so that you won't make mistake. So we have this, then we'll place them on fold two. This is the second one. So this underneath one is wider than the top one because of the zipper allowance. So we have to make them equal at the side here. So just to create a small piece for the zipper and for the joining after inserting the zipper. So the next thing we are going to do now is that we what we use for the hip allowance and for the hip measurement for the front bodies, that's what we're going to use here as well. So we use 2.675. So I'm going to mark it here. You don't start from the SX, you start from the top one here. So measure down the name. Which is 17 and a half. Root up to the knee. Then from the knee, we flare out up to the edge of the fabric. Then we can cut.
So we take this side. So now we have this wider part to be the fold, uh, to be the center fold. We are going to have uh, the zipper allowance. So I'm going to take this this shorter one. This lesser one here is the one for the side panel. So we we'll take this aside. This is the center panel. We we'll fold it. Then remember the panel that will cut for the front bodies. We take two from there. That is the side panel. Take two from there. So these two here are the center panel for the front bodies. So if you are going to make a mistake, you can just take your chalk. This is F, the front center panel, and this here. So this is for the front and this is for the back. So so as not to make the a, a mistake. So we'll put them aside. Then we have four folds. Two folds for the side panel and two folds for the other side panel. So we we'll fold each like this. This is the right side. We look for the right side and the wrong side. This is the right side. This is the wrong side. So, this is the right side. This is the wrong side. So, you place two, two of the panel on the right side and two of the panel on the, right, on the wrong side. The reason why I'm doing that is just for us to have a... Because we are going to shape a side. Because that is where the hip curve comes from. The hip curve and the knee shaping. So that is why we are we have to be very careful with the way we work here. So we are going to do that for the other. This is the right side. This is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. So we do that. Two on the right side. Two panels on the wrong side side so the next thing we are going to do now is just to shape the side because these are the side the four side panel so i'm going to go and measure my waist so my waist is 32 divided by 8 because we are making an 8 pieces skirt we have 32 divided by 8 i have 4 inches so 42 divided by 32 divided by 8 we have 4 inches so I'm going to go I'm going to add seam allowance so I'm going to go for 4425 so this is it here then for my waist here I'm going to measure the uh, waist to hip measurement which is 8 inches so this is the this is it here. So I'm going to cough because since we measure by the hip before, just going to shape from the waist to the hip. Cough like this. Then you go to the knee. Just one side. Go to the knee. Measure 1.5 or 1 inches depending on how fitted you want your skirt to be. So I'm going to go for 1.25. You can go for 1.5 if you want a really fitted skirts so then you join it to this side here then you cough out back so now let's cut it out so i'm going to start cutting from the waist So we have 
our side panel these two we take two for the front and we take two for the back so that is all about our uh, eight pieces skirt and i hope you are going to try it out please do try it out ask question see you in the next class